welcome back. Crime rate in the state has been vacillating in the last two years. The number of theft cases came down in 2012 due to increase in detection. Meanwhile, dacoity cases have been at a constant rate due to less detection of criminals. Rape and murder cases have regrettably seen 100% rise. Meanwhile, CM Manohar Parekar has assured to increase police force and number of police stations in Goa to slash down crime rate. Here is a brief account on details of number of thefts, dacoities and rapes which took place in the last two years. Theft cases increased in the year 2011 by 80. Serious crime cases of murder and rape have seen a 100% rise in 2012 within 6 months as compared to 2011. Murder was increased by 13 cases in 2011. Rape cases increased by 1 and registered cases on murder touched 24 within half year of 2012. Have a look at the detection of crime cases. The detection of theft cases came up in 2011 by 416 and in 2012 by 618. Detection of dacoity cases, however, lowered till 2012. Detection rate of rape and murder cases also rose high by 2012. But by 2012, the figures reached up to half the mark as compared to 2011. Here is the number of suicide cases registered in the state during last three years. Have a look. In 2009, 284 cases were registered. 2010, 310 cases. 2011, 289 cases and 2012, 142 cases up till 30th June. Manohar Parikar has assured to fetch in one more reserve battalion of 1,070 strength. Chief Minister also said that crime detection rate has improved by almost 25%. Bureau report, Prudent Media. Bitalwati Panchayat members have alleged that there is no cooperation from the public in collection of garbage. The garbage of Bitalbati is collected and illegally burnt in Verna. On the other hand, garbage scattered along the roadside in Serauli is also a problem. It's not lifted by authorities for a long time. Have a look at this garbage collection. This is happening just opposite the Bitalbati Panchayat. The garbage is not being segregated and treated. The contractors engaged by the Panchayat inform that Garbage is collected and disposed of at Verna by burning. The question here is, which place is notified to treat or burn garbage in Verna? The garbage is being illegally burnt in Verna. This is Serauli village. Here the garbage is being scattered along the roadside. The public say, Authorities have turned a blind eye to the garbage menace. Our reporter Savio Dias for Prudent Media. Gesto Culinary and Hospitality Academy has launched the American Hospitality Academy India. Gesto is offering a new range of courses. Diploma in Hospitality Management and Diploma in Culinary Arts, a two-year program, will benefit the students in hospitality and hotel management. Gesto Academy offers hotel management courses across India through 41 campuses. They have delivered quality education to 2,600 students for the academic year 2011 to 2012. Over 25,000 students have benefited from its academic syllabus and training methodology during last nine years. It's a good start for Goa in specific and India at large. We wish that every Goan or Goans interested in hospitality and Indians interested in hospitality make the best option while selecting their career. The tested and proven methodologies of AHA's hospitality programs aims will help the Indian students aiming to transform their lives and making them a global asset. A video journalist, Prajod Pednekar. It's time now for a short break on news from sports. When we come back, stay tuned. <laughs> Goa College of
welcome back. Margaon fish vendors are aggrieved after being dislocated from the new market. They are dissatisfied with the Margaon municipality. They have demanded for an alternate place to continue their business. Meanwhile, CM Manohar Parekar has assured the fisherwomen to inquire into the matter. So unless I take report from the other side, maka tajer kiriya position the question ne, vitar da kaho kiriya problem. So how to work out that? Koi ya. The aggrieved fisherwomen in Margao called on Fatorda MLA Vijay Sadesai and demanded justice. Vijay Sadesai alleged that Goan fisherwomen were targeted and non-Goans were favoured. Then the complaint is that the non-Goan vendors have preference for the people. They have to go to the municipality. They have to go to the municipality and the municipality have to go to the municipality. They have to go to the municipality. On the other side, the SGPDA market retailers and fish vendors today marched to the SGPDA wholesale fish market in Margao and demanded that retail fish sale at the wholesale fish business be immediately stopped. SGPDA Chairman and Kunkoli MLA Rajan Naik and Banawli MLA Kaitu Silva paid a visit to SGPDA fish market. They took cognizance of the unhygienic conditions prevailing at the market premises and surroundings. Gutter and gutter and the system is one person to drainage clean and one person to treatment. So the market is clean and locked in the step. The chairman of SGPDA, Rajan Naik, said it was his maiden visit to the market. He stated that government has approved funds for the wholesale fish market and within four to six months, the scenario would change. Our reporter Savio Dias and Samir Bhatt for Prudent Media. And now news from sports. Goa Cricket Association's new executive committee will be decided on Sunday. Well, on Saturday evening, North Goa District and Sessions Court dismissed Shashi Kansar Desai's petition seeking a stay on 22nd July's GCA elections. Elections will be held on Sunday from 10.30 in the morning. However, presidential candidate Shashi Kansar Desai has announced he will not go to vote. Day-long arguments on Saturday culminated in judge passing her order late on Saturday evening. He had sought for two reliefs basically. One is stay of election to be held tomorrow. And second is uh, he was uh, seeking appointment of independent uh, observer on election process. We had uh, opposed uh, to the section 9 application saying that election process will be held in a democratic way. And second, section 9 is not maintainable including for the uh, purpose of conduct of parties. Uh, that is Mr. Shashikan Sarjizai. Now the court had dismissed it and the elections are supposed to be held as per schedule, that is tomorrow. Uh, of any association, once election procedure is started, it cannot be interfered. So that is the first rule. On that ground, we must have succeeded. ते <laughs> फुडे उपाचे ना आओ धैर्य था कहले फुडे उपाचे ये आओ दिला स्वतः ते इलेक्शन आचर बहिष्कार करता है आज तुमका डिक्लेयर करता कि आई बॉयकॉट द इलेक्शन आई एम नॉट गोइंग फॉर वोटिंग एक दलिये ने आ आ स्पोर्ट्स रिपोर्टर फ्रॉम पंजी निखिल परेरा विद वीडियो जर्नलिस्ट दिनेश करपे गोवा फुटबॉल कोचेस एसोसिएशन वाज लॉन्च्ड ऑन सैटरडे टू प्रमोट द गेम ऑफ फुटबॉल एंड टेक केयर ऑफ ऑल द कोचेस इन द स्टेट
The main focus of the association is on imparting coaching education. India's most successful club coach Armando Colasso is the president of the GFCA, while former India coach Savio Medeira is the secretary. The formation of Goa Football Coaches Association was declared at Goa's premier football venue at Fatorda on Saturday afternoon. We decided that it is our right obligation to give something back to the game of football. And this was the reason why we formed Goa Football Coaches Association. We had plenty of meetings. We wrote aims and objectives, we wrote the memorandum of the situation. And then finally, we had to open it up to be able to slow it. <coughs> this logo signifies the unity of the Goan coaches. And on the coaches, with a ball on top, it really says that the ball is taught by the, by the coaches, technically. I'm very happy that the association is formed and we will try our level best to, to, to improve the standard of coaching by, by coach education for all the young aspiring coaches. AFC B licensed coach Daryl D'Souza praised the initiative. And it's a good thing that they have done here to get united all the coaches of Goa, you know, make an association and do something for youth football and regarding coaches' interest also. For example, if a coach has a contract with any club, you know, the contract copy will be in the association list. If they find any problem, the salaries are not paid and all those things. The office bearers of the association had an interaction with the assembled coaches. Our reporter from Fatorda, Savio Dias. If you have missed our bulletin, log on to prudentmedia.in or follow us on Twitter at Prudent Goa or meet us on Facebook at facebook.com slash prudentmedia. And with this, we have come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudent Media. Have a great weekend up ahead. Goodbye.